Good morning traders, I'm Luke from Discipline Trader. Today is the 1st of June 2017 um, and we're going to be doing some more live trading on the FTSE 100 today. Um, so let me just run you through what I'm looking at. So yesterday we had this bullish run into new territory, new highs on the FTSE. Um, and as you can see, we didn't quite get to the 7600 level and we sold off. So we are back down in between these two 4 hour support and resistance bands where we've been chopping around sort of this area for the last couple of days. Um, it's been quite a tricky week for myself. Um, a lot of the setups I've taken just haven't followed through. So I'm going to be wary of that today. We're in a, what could potentially be um, a tight range here. So I will definitely bear that in mind as we progress through the trading day. As far as setups that I'm looking for, I don't think I've really got anything specific um, that I'm looking at this morning. So we'll just see where price goes, how it reacts to these support and resistance bands and go from there. So I'll keep you posted. Okay, so just a quick update. Uh, we are 8.20 now and you can see price has pushed up to this 4 hour band here. And we're getting quite a lot of rejection. So a sell from here would be quite good. Um, I do need it to test this blue line before I can get into a short position. Ideally what I'd like to see is it come down, test this blue line, sort of in line with these highs, push back up slightly, a bit more rejection, and then a, a signal candle to get short would be ideal. Um, if this comes straight down, I'm not really going to be able to do a lot with it. Um, we'd have to see where it comes down to and finds support from there but uh, that's what I'm currently looking at at the moment let's see what happens okay we're just about 15 seconds to the close of this candle and it's looking like we're going to get what I asked for which is good um, just check the low price of this candle oh, if it finishes like that yeah, so it's finished as a doji, that's quite annoying. I thought we were going to get a nice pin bar um, as a sell signal there, but it's finished as a doji, so I shall keep watching. Okay, so this looks like it's going to come down uh, without me here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, no real signal candle from this area, so there wasn't a lot that I could do with that one. Um, but it did look good to come down, and it's doing that right now. So... Looking ahead then, um, we've obviously got this intraday pocket of support and resistance and another 4 hour band down here as well as another intra band slightly lower but the gaps between these are very small um, and with the amount of sort of selling that looks to have come in up here I wouldn't be amazingly comfortable with buying from just down here. Um, so I think really my only thing I'm looking at currently is if it can sort of push back up and maybe give another sell signal uh, before I move down um, other than that we'll just have to watch and see how it goes but I shall keep you posted ok I'm just watching this candle here if it finishes down it may well be a pin bar for a second move down um, so just keeping my eyes peeled. No, it's looking like it's going to finish. Yeah, more of a doji. So again, we'll keep watching. This is the level of interest still. As you can see, we had a push down, move back up. Now, if we can see weakness come in at this level again, I'll happily sell. As you can see, we've tested this uh, five minute two hundred plenty of times now. Um, so I would look be looking for this to get broken next time whether I trade through it or not we'll have to see um, yeah well we'll keep our eyes peeled let's see if we get another entry up at this level okay as you can see this has come down yet again without a proper signal it's just not playing ball for us at the moment um, making it really difficult uh, to get into trades um, but as I said first thing this morning 
there was the potential to just range sideways and at the moment we are doing that and that's fine on some days where you can actually um, get in at the tops and bottoms of, of the potential range that's there uh, but it's just not let us do that so far um, we've watched it come up into this level sell off come up into this level sell off again um, so uh, we'll have to see what happens as you can see price is sort of moving um, in a sort of wedge type fashion at the moment so we'll see what happens there uh, news wise we have got some the non farms at 115 um, and unemployment claims at half past one in the US uh, we had the manufacturing PMI at half past nine in the UK um, and other than that there's not really of anything of any interest uh, crude oil inventories at four o'clock so there's no real massive news announcements at the moment obviously we've got the election going on here in the UK but I'm not really expecting any news announcements to change anything today so um, I'll just be looking for it to get to these key levels. Um, I think I'd still be happy to sell if it came back up here. Um, I don't know if it's going to do that now, having visited it twice. As you can see, it didn't get up as high as it did last time. But we'll see what happens, uh, and I'll keep you posted. So this has got to be one of the most frustrating uh, days of trading I've had for a while. Just delete that ruler. Um, so as we can see, we've had another move up to this level. We had the initial touch. I then look for a test of the blue line, and then another signal, and I'm in. And all we're getting at the moment is just these initial signals, um, and then it's is moving straight from there. So it really isn't letting me into these trades at all. Um, I mean, it's fallen away from this level three times now. So, it, you know, there's testament to how strong this level was. Um, it's just my trading strategy doesn't allow me to enter uh, without seeing that confirmation. So I'm not going to break those rules just for this one day, just because it's been happening today, uh, because it'll hurt me down the line. So the right decisions have been made in regards to not taking these trades, but it's days like this where your discipline really is tested because you can see that these have worked time and time again um, and we're, we're just sat here missing out. But I know in the long run um, I'm much better waiting for all of my rules to, to, to be met before I enter a trade. So frustrating, yes, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, we'll keep watching. Um, it's just gone past 12, so we've got plenty of time still to take a trade today. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you posted if anything does happen. Okay, so we've just had the uh, non fan payrolls come out. And we're finally looking like we're going to get a nice sell signal from this area that we've been watching all day. Um, so, let's keep his eye on this. Okay, so the candle's got a low of 53.9, so I want to be at 52.8. Just there. Lovely. Let me just... Start. Cool. Um, cool. <clears throat> so we'll keep an eye on this now. Hopefully it triggers and we get an, a nice move down like we've been having. Um, obviously this intraday level here has just, it's held up every time that it's been tested so far, which is one, two, three, four, five, six times. Um, and currently it's got the 200 MA in there for added effect. So we'll have to see how this comes down, uh, if it is going to come down uh, and go from there. So I'll keep you posted with this one.
Okay, so we look like we're coming down. I'm just going to close this one out manually, I think. Uh, just keep an eye on how this candle finishes. We're coming up to the end of the hour as well. Uh, and it's touching that 200 MA now. Just see how it reacts to it at the close of this candle. <laughs> A little bit of buying coming in just at the end here, but nothing major. See, we can pop down to that zone below, that little band. <laughs> Should do it. Just click off that for now. I am somewhat tempted to try and hold it through this this little band here, to be honest, um, and aim for this band down here. But I think the safest thing to do is probably close it when we get into this band here. It has reacted a good number of times today from here, and the range has been terrible. Uh, so we'll see. Let's see how quickly it moves now. If it starts moving up, then I'm just going to let the exit method take me out if it's going to come upwards. Um, it might want to come and just tag these little intraday lows here and then move down. Um, I thought it was going to do it quickly, hence why I've resumed the recording, but we'll just watch for a second. Quite a frustrating day today, as you can see. Really tight range. Highs of 560 and lows really of 540-ish, so 20-point range. So if we can get a 10-point move out of this, that's not doing too bad at all. Yeah. So what I'll do is... I'm going to add a limit down here at 10 points. If it comes down and tags that, then I'll happily take that, I think, for the day. Uh, actually, I'm going to move this just a, a little bit lower. Just above that pivot. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'll come back to you when we've had an update. Wow, that took um, its sweet time, considering, considering 10 minutes ago it was literally, what, half a point from there? Um, such, a, such a choppy day today. Um, definitely the right decision to only target this little band here. As you can see, it, just watching this candle, it's up and down, up and down. It could quite easily, quite quickly make its way up to the band um, up here. Who knows where it's going. It's a really indecisive day today. Quite difficult to trade, so I'm happy with the 10 points. Um, as you can see, a quite a long day, 3 o'clock. Um, I'm definitely going to call it a day there. Um, I hope you found this video useful, as always. If you have any questions, please fire away with them in the area below. Leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to respond. Um, if you like the video, pr please drop a like on it. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Um, I hope you all have a good day in the markets and a good week in the markets. And I'll see you in the next video.